For four and a half years, this makeshift camp has become a fixture in central La Paz. It was erected across the street from the Ministry for Justice in March 2012 by the victims of Bolivia's dictatorship regimes. Campaigners are demanding justice, compensation and recognition by the state for their sufferings. 77-year-old Julio has been there from the beginning. He and his family were victims of the Luis Garcia Mesa dictatorship in the early 1980s. They tortured our hands. They, they removed our fingernails with pliers. Then I have a broken shoulder, a wound on my leg, and my femur was destroyed by the state paramilitaries. Bolivia has had more military coups than any other nation in the world. According to Amnesty International, during the dictatorship years between 1964 and 1982, people were executed while others disappeared without trace and thousands were detained for no reason. Many of them were tortured during the scheme known as Operation Condor. In Bolivia, in Bolivia, we have over 20,000 exiles. We have 5,000 arbitrary arrests, 500 disappearances under the Banzer government. Operation Condor was an organized program of state-sponsored murder in which the U.S. conspired to arrest, kidnap and kill left-wing activists all over South America who rose up against the military dictators of the 1970s and 1980s. Argentina, Chile and Paraguay have set up truth commissions for the victims, except for Bolivia, leaving survivors feeling like they've been airbrushed from history. These victims of three of Bolivia's most brutal military regimes say they'll keep on campaigning until they get justice. Because who suffers? Many families have suffered in my country. There is no justice. There is no truth commission. There is no political will by the current government to investigate all these inhumane crimes. As the long wait for justice continues, there is fear that the lack of political will leaves Bolivia's estimated 35,000 dictatorship victims in limbo. Recognition and compensation from the authorities could take many years yet to finalise. Dimitri O'Donnell, Telesur, La Paz.